Hello, welcome back to my beauty portion of my channel. My name is Michelle and my channel name is Keeping It Real. I am a mature, part of the mature beauty community, over 50. And I just wanted to share with you two items that I bought at Sephora. Sephora had a sale on their Sephora products. So let's see. I chose, and I am wearing this today, FYI. I am wearing this. Let's just take the glasses to give you a better look. So that is how they look on my mature skin. I'm going to swatch them all for you with a brush and, um, and show you each of the colors. So I got these two. This is Strange Botanicals. Oh, they're both strange. <laughs> strange Botanicals. Okay, so this is, they're both eye palettes. I'm trying to think if they have a color here. A color name. Okay, here we go. Freaky Pink Rose and Hypnotic Yellow Sunflower. I love that. So I'm usually drawn to these type of colors and these type of palettes. I do love cool tone palettes. They just don't usually work with my warm tone skin, neutral skin. So I brought both of these and let's see, I have my receipt here and that's me dropping things. Alrighty, sorry about that. All right, so um, they're, they were 50% off guys, okay? So they were, uh, they're originally $12 a palette, so I mean, comparable to drugstore prices, the Sephora brand, and I got them for $6 each. So it came to $12.84 with tax. All right, so let me just show you them. I have opened this one, but I have not opened the um, the freaky, freaky Pink. <laughs> Again, I just used this one, um, I wore it yesterday and today. So I do like that, sort of like a little diary. And then you have to peel this and then open it up there we go they are really really pretty they do not have names on them they just have one two three four and five and so these are the colors and again i used uh three of them three of them today and i used uh three of them yesterday actually so i used these two bottoms today I used the darker one. I do have hooded eyes. Uh, as I'm getting older, I'm noticing that they're getting a little hooded. And hooded eyes basically just means that you have an awning on your eye. <laughs> so as we age, this part of the skin right here droops. And when it droops too much, it makes you have a, a hooded eye. Hence why people sometimes get eye lifts and that just like lifts the eye and makes it not hooded. So what you do is you put the darker color in the crease and the lighter color on the um, the eyelid. And back in my younger days, I just had re reversed that. I always liked a darker shade on the bottom and then a lighter shade on top of the, on the brow bone. And then on the very underneath your um, eyebrow was always like a white or maybe a glitter or something like that back in the days. Okay, so we wanna see what we're doing. Okay, so first I'm just going to swatch a finger swatch and then I will do a brush swatch for you. So this is kind of like an Alberni Burt Terracotta Red. And they are smooth. I didn't see any fallout when I used them, but that's pretty good. And then this shade right here. Wow. They're very, very smooth. And then this yellowy gold sunflowery color. It's kind of 70s vibes. So we have three mattes. A frost and then like it, they're calling this like a shifter and it's like a light glittery shade I really am drawn to that I feel like a no makeup look with just like a glossy lip and then a little bit of this and out the door all right so we did three and then this is the fourth one right here and a little more metallic and then at first swatch I'm just going to not professional guys there we go. All right. And, th and then this, which I tapped into on both days. Wow. And that is chalky. And that is like a thick pigment of glitter. And this you're supposed to just kind of tap on top of the color, which I could show you exactly. Did that on the wrong hand. It's almost sandy, but also iridescent, different shades of color. So if you are just going to be putting it on top, wow 
kind of just gives it like a volcanic glossy look okay what else so i have a brush here i use a brush and a little old-fashioned i don't even know what these these are called but you're mostly um familiar with brushes because in the beauty community most people use brushes nowadays so this is the small shadow brush and it is number 22 by it cosmetics and does it say anything else nope it just says small shadow brush so i'm just going to show you pick up some color on the brush and then if you were going to be putting it on your eye i mean it's nice it blends i feel like the sephora eyeshadows are very comparable um urban decay Too faced you know okay so that's the red and let's do some brown right there it's so it's a lighter color and i really like this for the crease color that is a really nice crease color and then moving into the ye yellow sunflower gold look see it's nice and light yeah they're buildable definitely and then the shadow oh gosh that is really pretty very very pretty so yes that's what, just with the brush and if you are my age or older you'll probably remember these to my 80s girls because this is pretty much all we had and they were really small and they came with your eyeshadows back in the day so we're picking up the red and I feel like you do get more pigment more um, ongoing color when you are using these, although I know everybody loves a brush and brushes definitely have their place. But I also like these old fashioned. Yeah, I really like these, I don't know. So what do you use guys? What do you use for your eyeshadow? Do you use a brush like everybody else or do you use one of these? Okay, so you could see the comparison. I think that you get a darker look with these than with the, um, than with the brush so I don't I'm not gonna dig in I'm not going to use either for the glitter because I want you to be able to see the glitters more of like a soft pigment in there it's a pressed pigment for sure but like if you're gonna stick your finger in a jar of lotion it, it could go through here and I don't want I don't want that to happen I don't want to ruin it so there we go I mean I mean there's a little bit of fallout but when I applied it on my eyes there was no fallout so that is the first palette. I don't want to take too long with it. Again, $6, you know, I mean, it's worth it. Good for travel. And now I have a mess on both of my arms. And we're just going to... All right, so this one I haven't opened yet. Okay, so. And these little stickers here, you have to unsticker it. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, very, very pretty, guys. Look at that. That is gorgeous. This is kind of screaming spring. I would have loved to have this in the spring. And this one is more summer, winter, I would say. Summer, winter, or summer, fall, not summer, winter, with those colors. I think pumpkin spice, and this is very spring-ish. Okay, so let's see. Right there. I will do a makeup look with this, um, probably this weekend. So there we go. Oh my goodness, that is very smooth. Very smooth, guys. Wow. White, I really like that white shade for the inner corner. And then this metallic, oh, that's, that's soft, very soft. I'm only seeing three in a little bit. Let's try that one a little bit more. This one up here. Oh, wow, okay. Barbie girl, pink. And then that, look at that gold, guys. That would look amazing. A really pretty eye with these pinks. And then how about inner corner? You could use the white or if you, if it's nighttime. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is gorgeous. Wow, 
So that is more pigmented than the white one on the other palette. Okay, so, and I have a dirty brush here. I was not prepared for this. Let's see. I'll do better next time. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We're going to do this color, pink. And that was the first dark shade. So we are going to put that up here. Okay. Flip her around. This Barbie pink is very, very pretty and it looks maybe cool tone. Let's just do that up here. And you know what? That's kind of not picking up with the brush at all. Maybe the finger um, does better for application. Huh. Nope. All right, how about this one? Ooh, that's pretty. That's very, very pretty. And then of course white, we already know what white looks like, but oh, how about over here? There we go. All right. And then moving right along with the brush. Let's do the white. Wow, that's very, very smooth, very smooth. This is the way to go. I need to get a pack of these. They probably have them on Amazon. All right, so white, light pink, which we were not impressed with. So let's do that over here. This works better at least. You're getting a, a semi-darker color and then flip it. Much better, like this is much better using this than the brush and then this color up here. So this is really pretty. I mean, I'm anxious to use it. I kind of want to just take everything off my face and do a look now, but I will wait and use it in a couple days or to my room. So there we go, guys. Let me know if you have any of these. Um, it has a mirror, which is nice. It's, it reminds me of Benefit. You know, their packaging is cardboard and I don't mind it. I know a lot of people prefer plastic, but I don't mind the cardboard. Um, it is biodegradable as well, so it's very nice. So there you have it, these two. I think there was four or six in the collection. So if anybody has the others and, you know, pros, cons, let me know. Comment, subscribe, and share my videos if you are into this type of content. I appreciate it so much, and I will be back with another video soon. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.